Good, good, good. There's taxi. Come on, taxi. Hmm. Music wise, music wise, let's see. That should be possible, shouldn't it? Now, uh, let's not remove this one. Multi track record in Streamlabs. That's also a thing I could do. Let's check. Yeah, uh, I pressed the uh, add button. <laughs> That's sadly a part of being affiliate. Um, the ads are more or less mandatory. Yeah, church organist. Um, Twitch does have some ads. And if you don't have an ad blocker, please do install one. <laughs> because I don't rely on the ad money. I do not want to rely on the ad money. However, um, Twitch does... Uh, hello there, pesky masturbator. Uh, let me just really check on something. Uh, but if I don't press the ad button on the regular... New people that come in will see an ad first, and usually, if you uh, usually when I see an ad first, uh, I just walk back out right again. Also, Pesca Masturbado, uh, I did make uh, the emoticon with the fish. It's uploaded, but it's still stated as pending. So. Twitch has to approve it or something? I don't know. <laughs> they take their emoticons very seriously. But I took the Factorio fish, and it gave him a little axe and a little Viking helmet, and soon you will be able to use it. Good. Uh, and I'm babbling again, so let's make this real quick. So this will be an output. I want to build something. Yeah, build this. Copy this over. Yeah. I do hope it comes out correct. It's my... It took you three weeks to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it will probably take a while. <laughs> but then again, they do get used everywhere. Uh, so I kind of understand why they want to put some care into them. I'd still have to make the other two, but uh, I would rather play games than make emoticons, to be honest. So this will be the output. Then it's four to three to three. So it will be four of these. One, two. Let's place two of these for now. One, two, three, four. You make the nickel stuff. You make. Where is it? That's zinc oxide. Wait, where do we make this? Oh, it's also in the blast furnace. How weird. You make this stuff. So then you would need a carbon monoxide input. Then... To be honest, Amazon look after their content creators much better than YouTube. That's true. No point trying to get revenue directly from YouTube anymore. That's also true. Um, uh, 
and I do upload all my videos to YouTube, but the only reason for that is, is I use YouTube as a data grave. I upload stuff over there just so that it doesn't get pulled from Twitch at some point. Uh, Twitch has the video on the demand function, but those are only there for, I think, a couple weeks or something, and at, at some point they get deleted, which I find kind of sad. So the only reason why I'm using YouTube is basically to store my stuff. <laughs> uh, before I'm eligible for money on YouTube, I have to have to do so much more stuff, which I absolutely do not want to do. So Twitch it is. Um, and the more I think about it, yep, what I do, just have a video, yeah. So, technically, it wouldn't be bad to just play music over on my stream and also record that. It's definitely something I'll be looking at tomorrow when I prepare my stream for tomorrow. Also, tomorrow I will be streaming. Maybe not Factorio. I picked up another game I want to play, be playing tomorrow. Maybe. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do it yet. Uh, or the Factorio box still gets me and I'll just play on more Factorio. Where is it? Where is... No, no. I'm being blind again. Yes, there it is. It's green. And then you make process nickel. Turn it around. There you go. So, this is the correct ratio. This is the correct ratio. You. Let's check this ratio once more. Um, I need 4 per second. No, 2 per second. Yeah. And you make 1.5. This is 3. This is 6. Two per second, this is six, this fits. Then you pump out 24, so six per second, this is 80 per second. I have four of these, 80 per second, perfect. Now, the string tearing is part of my setup currently, which is a bit annoying. Uh, it's because the X org window manager on Linux is a pretty old piece of shit to be perfectly honest and Wayland uh, the thing that actually should um, replace it still has trouble running Nvidia cards now it's not your monitor bugging out it's actually my monitor bugging out and because I use the capture card now it actually gets picked up by the capture card before you wouldn't see it, it would only be on my monitor because if I record it directly, um, it doesn't uh, happen on the recording. It actually happens on the monitor output, which is really, really weird. However, if I record on my machine directly and don't use the capture card, then the game only runs at 40, uh, 30 FPS. So it's one or the other. And I would rather have the game run at 60 FPS because having it running at 60 frames per second is just so much more relaxing for me than having it run at 30 FPS because it feels so super duper slow if, it run, if it's running at 30 FPS. And this should be fine. Now we need to add also the sulfur in here, so cut this off. Actually cut it off like this, yep. And then put it um, over, one over, two over. One over should be fine. You'd have thought that you'd be able to yeah, that's right. Video per Ethernet. That could also be a thing. That's maybe something I will try out uh, later. Because I could also hook up my both Steam accounts on my laptop and on my computer. And do in-house streaming. And then record directly on the laptop. But then I have this capture card sitting around which I do not need. That's actually something I should look into soon. Because if I do it fast enough, I can still send the capture card back and get my money back. <laughs> and the Steam streaming is way better. 
That's maybe something I will try first thing tomorrow. But for today, this is how the video quality is going to be. And I do like experimenting with the stuff. I mean, I do it also at work, but uh, then I use um, industrial cameras and industrial setups with industrial uh, capture cards uh, or even at Nick controllers, which are so much better, but they are also super, super expensive. So let's see if we place you there, 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 and you there. Then we also need, let's see, over here and over here, and over here. And then let's pull it along over here, here, and here. And then this will be an input. Uh, actually, I don't need this one. Uh, Is the ghost the building mod? No! This is vanilla. No, ghosting around is super useful. Uh, it's only a bit of a problem if you have super fast robots. <laughs> Sometimes I place a ghost just to try something and then I start thinking and then the robots come along and build it for me. And then you sit there so, oh, well you build that now. It's obviously there. So this is a good ratio. This will work fine. We, oh, we could maybe butterfly it even. Uh, let's also build the output real quick. So the output will be a bit different because we have to feed ourselves back. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, let's, let's just use long head inserters. Then one of these, one of these, no, there, there. Then long hands. This, 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 this. We also need a fuel line. So that's where you come in. And then in, 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 in. Good, and this will be an output. This all goes in, this all goes in. This will be then connected to the main gas line. You need your sulfur, you need the stuff. And this is a good ratio. Let's place the power poles. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here, there, here, there. Here, and then the same over here. No, wait, this won't work. Could just do... Ah, that won't work. Let's place them here. And then here one, there one, and that should cover everyone with the exceptions over here. But then we just go there, there, there. Also one there, and one there. Add some lamps to it. And then here lamp, here lamp, here lamp. And then here some lamps. That should be fine. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, the helmet pin pipette feature. Helmet is also a pretty fun mod, but uh, most people also use it to figure out the ratios themselves or let them let the ratios be figured out. But I like to figure out the ratios on my own. It's part of my personal game <laughs> and I like to shove numbers around in my mind uh, the screen tearing is from an experiment the streaming setup yes I used to have the issue running Ubuntu from a live USB yeah 
But maybe if I stream it like like uh, Church Organist said, maybe if I stream it per Ethernet, things will be better. Like I said, the, the, the screen tearing is not happening in the hardware itself. It's happening as part of the monitor. And as I'm kept picking up the monitor signal, uh, the stream also gets the monitor signal. And that's the problem. But maybe by using a good streaming Ethernet connection. Ooh, the lamps are coming. Things will be better. Now, uh, this needs to be an input. So something like this. This can be an output. So something like this. And yeah, that'd be fine. So let's move you around a bit. Let's pick this whole thing up. And place it over here. Oh, this is going to be super tight. I don't think this is possible. Also, I need to flip this. The only thing I'm missing is the foreman mod. I should actually install that because the foreman mod allows you to uh, mirror uh, blueprints. So if I want to place this, for example, I would have to completely rebuild it from scratch, more or less. I'll not rebuild it from scratch, but let's see. One, two, it should be over here. But I do have to place these new. So, uh, these then go the other way. So you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down, then this will be the major output. This will be an input. Then we need the splitter. There. This whole thing has to be set up like this. Pull you along, and you have to be flipped. There we go. Now we need an input. Oh, there we go. Input, 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 input. This is an input. Let's take track with us. It's fine. And I think half a butterfly will be more than enough for this. This will be making so much nickel. This is basically where is the old nickel factory? Where is the old nickel bag? And yeah, this is double it. In a better ratio. Good! So, um, we also have to do something about the belt. Currently, we're just using yellow belts. We have to use the correct color. So we will be coloring it in soon. There we go. Then we have multiple outputs over here. These need to be balanced. So we have more, we have sulfur, and we have coal. It just barely fits. <laughs> so this will be the coal. This will be the sulfur. And this will be uh, the actual input ore. So down, down, out, out. In, in, out, out. And 
the hell did I do here? That's better. Blueprint trip and turn lately. Yeah, there's probably a easy mod to use it. But then again, uh, I'm already building quite fast and have a high build speed. So I usually do not think about uh, Foreman. Uh, Foreman is around. Oh, did Foreman stop? It's, yeah, it probably never got updated again. But that should actually be a vanilla feature. That should be it's such a good feature. Just the ability to flip or uh, yeah, just edit blueprints a little bit more. Because I can open up this blueprint and I can pull stuff out. But I can't pull stuff in. Or maybe even a, a small subdimension or something where you can just sit there and place stuff in a sort of less, more or less creative mode. And once you're happy with something, you just exit it and you have the blueprint in your hand. That would be super amazing. Because most of the time I'm just placing stuff and uh, then the robots pick up stuff out of my storage chests. Which then gets placed and then the factory starts building more of them. And then I just move it all along, and then everything gets put back again, etc., etc., etc. So I usually tend to make more buildings that I do not. Oh, shit. Well, actually, no. How much sulfur do I need? Not that much. Not that much. I just noticed that we also need to fuel these ones. However, if we add fuel to the sulfur line. We can make it happen. So this will be balanced. Then <laughs> we're gonna split it off again. And that'll be it. That'll do it. So you are going to be Nicola Orr. Copy paste. You are going to be sulfur. Where is it? There. Copy, paste. And you are going to be basic coal. Copy, paste. Uh, stuck in 0 0.16. Of course, there are multiple 0 0.17 mods that do allow that, starting with picker blueprint. Uh, I should probably take a look at the blueprint mods at some point. As I started this game, I wasn't really thinking about blueprint mods. I was thinking about content mods like uh, Angels and Bobs. But nothing about actual good utility mods. Oh, what the fuck happened over here? Also, because I'm not playing with Bobs inserters, I have this weird inserter interface. Oh, that was completely wrong. Which makes me build these super weird uh, inserters. Also, the fuel line is the wrong way around. There we go. So that'll fit, that'll fit. These are completely wrong. There we go. And you have to be like this. Or else you can't feed yourself back. Same over here. Looks a bit weird, but it'll work. Is there a, a gap right here in the middle? Or does it just... No, there isn't. Yeah, as usual, I add quality of life too, as the game does go on. What do you mean you're not playing with Bob's inserters? I see the GUI button. Yes, the GUI button over here. This is the, the, the simple GUI button. But what I do not have is the uh, advanced, I think it's not E. You have the advanced menu where you can actually have a grid. Where you can exactly say where the inserter has to play stuff. Um, Shift E, yes. Yeah, it's not in there. Because even though Bob's inserters do give you a high degree of freedom, uh, I'm a bit of a purist. My inserters have to go from left to right or top to down. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't like inserters that, for example, pick up from this belt and place it again on this belt just on the other side, or even a side loading inserter over here. Um, it just breaks part of the game. I do like. You can make really, really tight and compressed builds with it, but then making a tight and compressed build with standard inserters is the thing I like most. And if I use uh, the, the side loaders, etc., too much, it completely throws me off my vanilla game. So, yeah. <laughs> However, loaders. Loaders should be in the base game. Loaders are fucking amazing. I love these loaders. Just pull like a whole belt in and pull a belt out. Yeah. Especially with the uh, electronics. You have the uh, quick build, I think. It's for, yeah, it's, I think, one of these. And then one of these to make, uh, what was it? I think, yeah, these. With Bob's inserters, you would have, I think, six inserters over here. One, no, I think it's even eight. One inserter that allows this one to feed into here, here, and here. One inserter, no, one inserter sitting over here that allows it to fit into here. One into here, one into here, one into here. And then three across or something. However, if you would do this with the vanilla stuff, you could build a thing that compact. Good. Um, this thing is built. It's only half a butterfly. That's fine. We also need a gas input. Uh, I completely beats that. Let's see. Let's use the map. There you go. Then we also need a normal input. There you go. Now, why the fuck am I building all of this? Because I want to do some tungsten stuff. Yeah, this this is fine. Then, also very important, I get blue. And speaking of blue, so each one of these requires two ore per second. Yes. So, crafting speed is 3, 6 or per second, 6, 12, 24, 36, that's blue belt. So, this is going to be blue. Oh. Good. Then, uh, we need one sulfur per second. No, oh, a quarter sulfur per second. I think yellow belt will be fine. Also, what the hell is going on over here? There is this thing missing over there. Yes. When you're trying to get 500 slack in the machines to make a unique uploaders are essential. Yes. Well, you could also do it with um, inserters. I mean the uh, ultimate inserters. The stack inserters. They do... Well, 12 items, a rotation speed of 210 degrees per second. So if we have 180 to 160. Now wait, you do need to make a full rotation every time. So it's 360 degrees, 720, 1440. This is two, this is four, another 720. So I think it's six rotations per second with 12 items each. That's 72 items. So a ultimate loader is a tick faster. But then again, uh, the loader doesn't care about if your items are, um, yeah, how your items are distributed on the belt. It just, it just eats it. <laughs> but between warehouses or something, or between trains, like over here, then uh, inserters are better than loaders. So, um, the loader takes two tiles. It does. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I just like the concept. Especially if we use it... Wait, where is it? Down here. Where it just... It goes in from the top. It goes out through the bottom. And it just gets line processed. Now it's a 360 degrees turn. You have uh, 180 from one side to the other. And then another 180 going back. So it's 360. 
and 360 is uh, one rotation, 720 is two rotations, and 2160 is, I think, six rotations. I actually did really calculate it to the end. So that will be six rotations with 12 items each. That's 72 items. If you don't change the rotation angle, yes. If you use um, Bob's inserters where you can only use, for example, a 90 degree insertion range, then they're way faster. Uh, output. 24, so 6 per second, 80 per second, 36, 72, 72? That's ultimate belt. Uh, no, wait. So each one of these is at least red. Then... What was it? 24, 6, 18. Yes, 18, 36. 36 is blue. So this is blue. Uh, 36 and another 18 is... Was it really 18? Yeah, 6 per second. So 18 per second times 3, 36, 46, 54. That's turbo. And the final part will be ultimate. But I don't have that much ultimate stuff yet, so let's just make it red for now, uh, turbo for now. Oh, and my pre-roll ads have ended, so I will have to take a short break soon again. So this will be blue. This will be turbo. And this is turbo because I don't have anything else yet. Good. Yeah, you can get very tiny angles with bobs and switches, but like I said, uh, I'm using three sets of loaders from a three uh, by three storage chest to get enough slack into the machine for a continuous <laughs> operation. That's true. Also, fun fact, loaders don't use any power. So that's a good trade-off, actually. And they are quite expensive to make. And... Yeah. Like I said, I, I do like loaders. And... No, oh, let's deactivate this better. Also, this congestion is now gone, so no clue what happened over there. Uh, do I have another good loader design somewhere? Not really. And loaders do make it look a little bit more streamlined. I mean, inserters are fine if you're picking up single items, but if you're really batch working it... Putting a loader in there just makes it look more low-y. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh, I know where. Uh, where is it? This thing. <laughs> I kind of went ham over here with the loaders. But it's pretty amazing. Also with the braiding. Uh, this makes uh, solder. Tons of it. Hey, Sintert! Some loader mods allowed you to set them to use power. I'm only using required about twice as much power as do inserters do at the same level. Yeah, no, no, no loaders don't use power. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sintert, um, I made my first emoticon today. It's still being approved by Twitch, so soon you will have access to it. Um, and Pesca got the honors of telling me what he wanted and he wanted a fish so I made a fish so you have something looking forward to uh, speaking of looking forward to let's finish up this factory and then take a quick break uh, let's give me one of these please there you are Oh, almost. We should also make this like this. And then hook this up, hook this up, hook this up. Perfect. Yeah, Pesca got the honors of making the first emoji because... Or demanding what the first emoji will be because he was the first to subscribe to me. So he got all the honors. 
and as his name implies, uh, his name has fish in it. And I just took the Factorio fish, put a Viking helmet on it, and a battle axe. <laughs> That's the emoji. <laughs> I hope the guys at Factorio won't mind. And if they do mind, they will have to put in uh, my emoji instead of the standard Factorio fish. I won't have it anything anyway else. Oh, whoa. That went terrible. Um, oh, I see. Now that I take a good look at it, this doesn't work as intended. Oh, oh shit. Uh, ah. Because you have to hook it up over here. Well, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, this is going out. This will be a combination signal because this is a bit short. And while we add it, The RoboPort grid can be expanded over here. Like this. What, cliff in the way? No. Just blow those cliffs up. That's fine. And if we place you there, then... Things hook up again. Also, why is it so dark over here? That's better. Good. So, this will then order up the... Um, carbon monoxide. Speaking of carbon monoxide, I should at some point take a look if we have a factory that makes enough carbon monoxide. Good, then train stations, where are they? Over here. Uh, one here, one here. Uh, I only need one of these. Then copy over a design from all the way over here. Copy. Paste. Then you are a requester, so negate the LTN and read from the train. Put it in. This is correct. Yes. Then what do you request? Requester. Network ID will be 2. Threshold is 6000. Disable warnings. Uh, we need sulfur. We need some kind of coal. And we need nickel. Or. So order up say 20,000 of these. 20,000 of these. And a uh, hundred thousand of this. Perfect. Get going. And these need to be connected. Minimum size is 50,000. Network ID is two. What do we need? Carbon monoxide. There. 250,000 of it. Good, this all goes into there, then it goes out, and then it goes in. So you're ready to be fueled, and everything will be pushed into here. So you get a setup. No, wait, this one there, copy, paste. Uh, you are a provider, so negate the train and read from the LTN. Hook it up. And then you provide this provider, network IDs two, batches of at least 6,000. Good. And we're already sitting on quite a bit of cobalt again. I can see the tungsten going from all the way over here. This is also getting done. Then we need to hook you up. So 
so down here will be yet another row of smelting so let's just place this for now so that I know where it is also ah perfect I want to try to preserve the gas field if possible we did kind of uh, build over this one we could move it, but nah. Nah. Oh, and also we should take a... Kishizzle, my fizzle. Thank you for the follow. It's very schnizzle. Mimizzle. Kishizzle. <laughs> uh, but we should take a quick break. So, let's take a quick break. See you around.